Hey, it's Brian with the Midnight Mechanic. On our last video, we showed you the proper way to install your flywheel and your flywheel bolts. Well, in this episode, we have our LS7 clutch, and we're going to show you the correct way to install your clutch, your pressure plate, and get those bolts installed and torqued down properly. For our LS1, we decided to go with a factory style LS7 clutch from Luke. The kit came with the flywheel, a clutch plate, pressure plate, pressure plate bolts, and clutch alignment tool. Now, this alignment tool is key because it's going to keep your clutch plate aligned so when you put your transmission in it's going to be able to go directly in with the input shaft going into that pilot bushing so we're going to show you how to put this all together and get it bolted up first thing we're going to do is take and install the clutch disc now we're going to use this alignment tool where the tip will go inside the pilot bushing or bearing and hold it tight so you can go ahead and get your pressure plate mounted to get the pressure plate mounted you see these little pins here well, there's holes in this pressure plate that will align to the holes on this. All you have to make sure you do is to get those pegs lined up correctly on your pressure plate and it'll stay put. Right, I'm going to show you these little pins. There's one up on top, there's one down here, and there's one over here. What these are going to do is it's going to keep the pressure plate clocked correctly and centered on that flywheel and have the clutch disc centered up in the middle of it. Now we can go ahead and put our bolts in and lock it in there. Now we're going to install the pressure plate bolts. We're going to use blue Loctite again on the threads and hand tighten all of them. It's not going to pull them tight by hand tightening them. When you torque it down, it's going to pull these fingers tight against the clutch and keep it from moving around. But for right now, put some thread locker on there and put them all in by hand. We have all the bolts in and Loctited. They're not pulled tight. They're just kind of hand tight screwed in there. I want to make sure that the clutch is completely centered. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the impact and buzz them down just a little bit to get the pressure plate to hold that clutch in place before I go ahead and torque it all down to spec. I'm not going to hammer those in with the impact. I'm just going to make them a little bit tighter just to keep that clutch pushed in. I'm going to torque all these bolts down now to the proper spec. The proper spec is 22 foot pounds. Now you don't need to do them in a crossing pattern, but I kind of like to do that anyway. So I'm going to go ahead, torque them down in a crossing pattern, and then I'm going to go all the way around after to make sure they're all 22 foot pounds. Once you have it snug flush against the flywheel, you can go ahead and torque them all down to 22 foot pounds. With our pressure plate installed and our bolts properly torqued to spec, we can pull that alignment tool out, make sure it moves in and out freely. Now we know that when we install our transmission, it'll go in easily and install correctly. Installing a new clutch kit on your engine is pretty easy. Just gotta make sure that you have it torqued down correctly, don't overdo it, and make sure that it's all aligned. Now it's really easy to do when it's out of the car, a little more difficult when it's in there, but if you have a rear wheel drive car, when you take the transmission out, there'll be a lot of room. Front wheel drive be a little bit different, but there's always a little bit extra room, obviously, because the big transmission is not there, so you normally have pretty free access to it. Now on the LS1, a lot of people will say 52 foot-pounds on these, but GM spec is 22 foot-pounds. A lot of people have broken these bolts trying to torque them down to 52 foot-pounds. So snug them up, check them to 22, and they should be good to go. If you have anything else you'd like to learn about, any other tools you'd like to see, post down below in the comments. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook at The Midnight Mech, TikTok at The Midnight Mechanic. Check our other page out, Third Pedal Engineering. We'll see you guys next time.